Hi folks, Mr. Ballion here. I'm going to try this again, third time. Let's hope the audio is going to work. Let's hope this time it is truly a charm. Okay, guys, we're going to do this, all right? Um, we're going to work with this rig, the flower sack. Now, this is mimicking clearly a body, a character uh, with arms and legs, but this is a nice step uh, into the next stage. This is a pre-exercise, basically, before we do anything with our acting shots with our rigs. All right, so let's play around right now. Uh, first thing you got to do is like when you get a rig just just play out you know just look at the controls and then look on the right in your channel box and see what controls the rigger has made available for you for this is to translate and rotate that's cool so right now I can relax this rig by playing W mm -hmm. first step is always relax the rig and you know try to find an interesting pose as opposed to stiff the stiff look uh, upright um, at attention so let's see here we can rotate Boom. W down there you go see that's kind of cool all right um so that's this controller all right next what we have here kind of shoulder i believe uh yep rotate e only you can only rotate people we are one two three that kind of thing and of course you can go hello like that all right so that's the shoulder controller right uh let's see uh the what and again, this is the one that you guys have to really get uh, down okay so you really have to approach here look at this if I just play around with this square selector right here boom oh look at that whoa I'm ready to jump off see ya so that's cool but all of you will say how am I gonna move this character well let's see there's a foot control here okay left right okay so that's moving forward interesting isn't it and that has uh, translate and rotate kinda nice alright so watch how this is gonna work okay click once here hold shift one and two. If I press W now, oh yeah, the, f the whole flower sack will go. Cool, right? All right, so let's start making our own custom shelf here, all right? And I'm gonna, this is what we did in class. Just gonna left click here and go to new shelf. Bam, what is this? Uh, flower, just flower sack. Okay, there it is, right up there. All right, let's do this. Um, down here, you guys have used the auto key. You have preferences, and now it's time to move into the script editor. First thing I'll do is I'll erase everything so it's nice and fresh and empty in here. So watch this. Watch in here as I select. Click once. Oh, yeah, what is this? Select main controller. Awesome. If I hold shift, and I'm only clicking on the uh, box here, and look at that. Right leg controller. Okay. And left leg control. Awesome. Middle, uh, left click, highlight all three, middle scroll all the way here. Ooh, where am I here? Oh, I already have a flower sack. Okay, stop. Okay, let me just get rid of these. Right click, delete, right click, delete, right click, and delete. All right, let's do this. This is, I've done this lesson so many times that, oh, come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, it's here. I'm going to call this right now. Right click and edit. Somehow it remembers because it's the same things, right? Makes sense. I should have called it something else. See here it says command, go to shells, and it's highlighted for you. And this time, guys, I'm going to call this move, okay? So it's very simple language. Even though it's the base, I'm going to call this move. You use this only when you want to move, right? All right, save to all shells. Done. See ya. And I, I, I really got to get rid of these. I'm not sure why it comes back because it kind of... Maybe it has it in its memory somehow. Clear. All right, so that's the move, right? Uh, I did mention this earlier to you guys. I'm just digressing. The big controller here, the world controller, you only move it once. You place it here. You never, ever animate it. I've done it once with the with a ball rig where I had to do some twists and I had to use additional control. So that was the, the exception for me. I think 9.9 .9 out of 10 times we don't at this point animate. Okay, we're in grade 11, high school, baby. We're enjoying this. We're good. Uh, yeah, remember, bring this guy here, your move control, your and that's it, just once. Okay, world control, but never animated. All right, next thing, I want to bring this part here, and I think they call it chest. There it is right here, right? And for you, I'm going to call this head. Okay, right click, edit, so you kind of, it kind of feels like that, right? That's the, that's the code, shells, on the shelf, um, I'm going to call this head, okay? Boom. There it is, save to all shelves, done. Yeah, this is not a clean file. Look, I even have animations here, Ballion. What have you done? It's okay. Move head. All right, awesome. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, 
Um, clear up again. I said to you guys earlier that once you're ready to animate and um, you you have a pose, but you need to. I like to work in pillars. <coughs> Pardon me. Really early in the morning here. And uh, Wayne Gilbert taught me this a long time ago. He said, you got to work on the pillows, Alexi. So that's what we're going to do. That means you uh, key in every pose, all your controllers, so you know what's happening. Okay? So, the, so graph editor is controlled. Good to go. So what am I going to do here? I'm going to click once here. Hold shift. Continue. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And nine. This is good enough. So these, the following nine here, from starting from the leg controller. <coughs> pardon me, the main controller. Well, I should drink something here. <coughs> hmm. Right. Middle scroll. Select Mel script. Right click, edit, and we'll go to shells. And this is the all command. Boom. Right here. All. Okay. Save to all shells. Okay. So let's say this is your starting pose, right? And I'm clicking out. Let's test that it works. All. All right. And let me just uh, here right click, delete. Boom. Delete. And you, my friend, bye bye. Sorry to say that. Okay, I'm just going to open up my graph editor here quickly. Panels. Let's go to two stacked, two panes stacked. Thank you very much. Reversed here. Let's go with perspective here. And here, go to uh, panel, graph editor. All right. Up, up above number six. <clears throat> so if I select the um, the uh, base control domain there, press A. Anything? Nothing. Excellent. A all. Boom. A in here. Nada. Nothing. Okay. Sweet. We're good. So at this point, I have all selected. Right at frame one. Press S. We're in. We got ourselves a key. And if you scroll quickly down here on the bottom, you'll see that we've got all our nine controllers. Okay. All these little controls. Sweet. They're all been keyed. So I'm just going to do something really quickly here at frame 5. You can either do this, okay? Here it is. You can middle scroll all the way to frame 5, press S, copies the last one, see? All right. Now, I did say to you guys for blocking in the other exercise that we did, I did go into step mode. Um, you guys, this one, I'm, I'm going to keep it open for you, okay? So I'm going to clear this out. I'm going to come in here, double check my uh, animation settings, and spline, spline. Auto key, good to go. You you can definitely go to linear and stepped, okay? Because you know blocking, it's blocking. Get the blocking down. I mean, this is good practice, I think, for us. Save and here, let's go. Stepped, done. Okay, so there's no change really from here to there. All right. One of the things I did say to you guys, okay, when you are like in this mode and always try to relax your character, okay? Give it a less kind of initial pose, you know, and let's not keep it too too linear. So let's give some angles here and forward a bit and there's our guy he's getting ready to jump off right so if this was my key right now at frame five again I'll go to all right S and if I want to start like this and um, let me do a tweak one more thing let's look at the feet here all right let's come down here and click on the edge there press E for rotate maybe there W push it back a touch so you know that way, come look around the other angles. Guys, you got to make your characters work in all angles, okay? This is one of the rookie mistakes I made early on in my courses that I was taking online. That You just got to look on all angles, and it has to make sense, okay? Whatever that is. Like right now, look at that. It's going below the ground, right? No good. So let's bring that up. You, my friend, same thing for you. I, I haven't even put in my ground. I haven't. Oops. Okay, another thing to be careful of, stick to one axis, okay? Don't... Uh, do this like all three axes. We don't need that right now. Let's keep our lives simple. Pick one axis. <clears throat> there you go. And again, so I'm good with this. I'm going to pretend that this is my first key. All S. And now what do I do? Middle scroll all the way to the beginning. One S stat. Boom. It changed it up. So this is how I am starting. Okay. I'm going to keep these uh, lessons short. Okay, and it, clearly I didn't bring a camera in, I didn't bring my geometry in, I haven't created any layers down here to turn on and off, but this is a good start, and uh, I'll say that's it for now. Let's see what we can do here. Bye for now, Ballyed Out.